I'm here with the award-winning artist, Robbie Walters, who's been quite a sensation. Robbie, welcome to Maddox Gallery TV. Good to have you here. It's fantastic to be here. Now tell me about like the artworks that you do. You've been named as one of the top 15 creatives in the UK by The Telegraph. Yes. Plus they see you as the number one emerging artist, which is phenomenal. Yeah. So tell me about this extraordinary work that you do and how it comes about. Okay, so this piece of work here, it's all made from collage and it's hand cut and hand sprayed. So I take people's recycling material, right. I take things that people throw away and I want to make it beautiful again. So using uh, sacred geometry, using the shape of the petal, I start from the outside of the piece and I work my way in. And before I do that, I, I separate, when I spray it, I separate the colours to the colours that I want. So sometimes it's just predominantly one colour, sometimes it fades towards the middle. But I always say that when you put it on the wall, it harmonises the space. Well, it certainly has an impact. And I remember you telling me once about the shape of the petals is yeah. the lotus petal, Absolutely. right? Tell, tell me about that and about the impact, the positive energy that that okay. really has. So where the, uh, the shape of the petal comes from is I've been meditating for the last 16 years every day. And it's an, a very important part of my life. In the human electrical magnetic field, there's something called the chakra system and there are different petal lotuses representing those different parts of the energy field in your body. This one's representing the thousand petal lotus, which is the top. So the top one is the part which re um, it's between the physical world and the spiritual world. So um, this is a portal kind of going between the physical, mm -hmm. the physical and the spiritual. And the lotus is a reputation of the flower that grows on top of the, the lake. Right. So the root is in, uh, coming from the mud. So you've got this, this flower that comes from the mud of the lake, but on the top of the surface, it's this beautiful flower looking at the sun. And that's the representation of this. And it's interesting that I find at the gallery when people see it, they stop when they look at your works because you yeah. do them in such a, a wild kaleidoscope of colour from yes. blues to pink to coral to mm -hmm. um, black. Yeah. And they just feel that there's such an impact in the work. Mm -hmm. and it's evident that it really comes through with your creativeness. Yeah. Robbie, thank you very much. You're welcome.